You guys, I'm really excited for today's YouTube video because I like keeping it real with you guys and I'm just, it's what I'm here to do. I'm here to shed a light on what really goes on in the blogging world and how you can grow your blog here online. But there's some things that we have to talk about and in today's video, I really wanna talk about the business side of blogging and the things that other bloggers aren't telling you because sometimes I feel like bloggers paint this perfect picture of what it's like to be a blogger. It's so easy to start your blog with just $4 or start your blog and make money the very first month. You can be making $100,000 every single month. That sounds all great. It's sounds dandy. I'm sure all of us would like to receive free product and be making money doing what we love, but the reality is there's just some things that you're not being told. And the very first thing that we need to talk about is how much it costs to run a blog. Now, I know that I've talked about this before. I've talked about it on my blog. I even shared a YouTube video on here talking about, actually, I'm not sure if I mentioned how much it costs to run a blog, but I know I shot a YouTube video talking about how I made my first $1,000 blogging, excluding my client work. And I think that video was pretty eye-opening, but I almost think that these stats are more eye-opening. So let's talk about how much it costs to start a blog. You can start a blog for free. Yes, it is possible. You can start a blog for free. Would I ever recommend it? No. If you want to be a serious blogger, then I recommend that you get started on WordPress. And if you want to know how to get started with a blog or the way that I would start a blog, if I was starting a blog in 2019, I've got a video for you guys included in the description bar down below, or I'll add it in the I thing. What side does it pop up here? It's on here. It costs a lot of money to start a blog and to run a blog. Now, I do have to say, I have been blogging for almost three years at this point, so I do have some extra expenses. But let me break down some stats for you guys. So for my website, just to run it for one year, this is what I paid last year to make sure that it's up and running for this whole entire year. It's $229.67. For Tailwind, I'm paying $120 a year. For ConvertKit, I pay it monthly, so I end up paying $49 a month, and that's based off the number of subscribers I have. There is a cheaper rate if you are a beginner our blogger but since I have so many subscribers I am paying $49 a month and it is $588 a year for QuickBooks I'm paying $21.60 a month and that is $259.20 a year and for Teachable I'm paying it monthly as well so I am paying $42.12 a month and that equates to $505 and 44 cents a year. So in total, to run my blog for one year, one year, it is costing me $1,702.31. Guys, that's almost $2,000 just to run a blog. And I feel like so many bloggers don't talk about the expense of running a blog. They only talk about their income and it it is pricey. It is pricey and I'm just gonna keep it real with you guys. I'm spending about $2,000 every single year to just have my blog and all of my systems up and running. And since we're on the topic of money, let's talk about how long it takes to make money. It takes a while to make money blogging. If you wanna make money blogging with ads, boy oh boy, that's gonna take you a while and you need to have a lot of website traffic. If you wanna make money with affiliate marketing, you need to have the right systems in place and it takes a while to put those systems in place. It is not easy to make money blogging. And I feel like so many people paint the picture like you can make $100,000 a month from your blog. Maybe you can down the road, but at the beginning it is going to be so, so hard to make money blogging. And sometimes like, you know, you guys, you, you know, okay, if you follow any influencer on Instagram, especially beauty influencers, honestly, you have probably seen some influencers go on some sweet trips with brands. And here's the reality of it. Sometimes instead of getting paid, you receive free product or trips like that. Now I have never received a trip like that. That would be awesome. Let's like manifest that in the future. I'm going to go on a trip with a brand in the future. That would be freaking sweet. But what I have received is free product to help promote a brand. So instead of getting paid to promote that brand, they instead gave me free product. And that's great, you know, that's awesome. But sometimes you want to make a little bit of money and it's just the reality of it. And if you wanna learn more, honestly, the Pretty Basic podcast with Alicia Marie and Remy Cruz is so good. They talk about working with brands, those influencer trips really like what goes down behind the scenes it is so freaking good so if you want to learn more about that i highly recommend the pretty basic podcast taxes yes 
taxes. Why is no one talking about taxes? When I got started with my blog, I had no idea. Like maybe it's just the naive me. I mean, I even went to college for business. I had to take accounting classes and I still did not realize that the money I was making with my blog that I have a hair in my face that I had to pay taxes on. Maybe I was just naive. Maybe you already know this. And if you do, you are set. But I had no idea that I had to pay taxes. It just didn't compute to me. You know, when you're used to receiving a paycheck for working from another company, they pay your taxes for you. You see it come out of your paycheck. It's normal, you're used to it. But when you get paid with your blog, that tax money isn't being taken out. You have to pay for it. So the money that I am making with my courses, it's not taxed already. I then have to pay taxes on it. So I pay taxes every single quarter. And if you wanna know when you have to pay your quarterly taxes, you can simply Google quarterly taxes for whatever year you have to pay them and I feel like it's just something that no one is talking about taxes they're so important, especially when it comes to pricing your product, because ideally you should save 30% of your income for taxes. So if you are pricing your product, let me, let me get a calculator. So if you price a product at $85, let's say you have to multiply that times 0.3 because that is 30%. You end up owing $25 and 50 cents in taxes for that product. So 85 minus 25.5, you are only profiting or pocketing, I would say $59 and 50 cents. Now that still seems great. It's like, yes, I'm making $60. That's awesome. But when you price your products really, really low and you're like, this is great. This is money in my pocket. It's really not just money in your pocket because you do have to end up paying taxes and you have to pay for like the other services and stuff that we talked about so my courses are priced at a certain point because I have to pay for teachable guys and I have to pay for my taxes not all that money is coming directly to me it is going to other things so taxes be prepared for them, save money for them. Make sure that you aren't thinking about all of the money you're making with your blog, it's just money in your pocket because it's definitely not. You guys know I make most of my money by working with clients. In the long run, I would like to make more money with my courses and affiliate marketing and ads and stuff, but I'm really working on building my brand. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel because it really does help to support me. And we are almost at 800 people here on my YouTube channel, which is a lot of people. I mean, if you think about it, like there's so many other influencers out there that have like millions millions of subscribers. But if you think about 800 people in a room, that is a lot of people. So thank you guys so much for supporting me through my YouTube channel. But I do make most of my money through client work. And that's really how I'm able to work on my own work full time for myself because I do have client work incorporated in there. Now, when I first got started with clients, I really didn't know what to do. Thankfully, I was using Upwork. So through them, they actually do have a guaranteed payment process where if you use their tracker, where they basically just take screenshots of your computer as you are working if you use that they are guaranteed to get you money from the client there's no argument there the client can't say no you weren't working like if this screenshots actually show that you are working then you are guaranteed payment so it's a it's a really good place to get started if you're thinking about becoming a freelancer I do recommend Upwork but when I started to move more so on my own and take clients off of Upwork I had to figure out what to really do you know how do you create invoices but more more importantly, the importance of contracts because I have been screwed, guys. I, I have, and thankfully it wasn't that big of a deal. I ended up doing work for someone and it was actually the second set of work that I had done for them. So I did a little bit of work, I gave them an invoice, they paid it, and then we're like, you know what, and we wanna sign you on for more work. Did a little bit more work, sent them in the invoice, never ever received a payment. And I sent them several emails, several reminders. With QuickBooks, you can see that people have actually viewed the invoice. So I could see that they were viewing the invoice. They just weren't paying it. And they stopped responding to my emails. And thankfully, it was only $75 thankfully. But from that moment forward, I learned that I always need a contract. So I make all of my clients sign a contract before they even get started with me. And that's just guaranteeing payment, what is supposed to be done between each of us. And then if anything ever goes wrong, we have a contract there that's signed that I can go to lawyers if I have to. Thankfully, I have not had to. It has just been that one experience. And because of that one experience, I require payment upfront. 
before I ever do any work. Contract is signed first, then I receive payment before I do anything. So I am no longer completing work and then requesting payment. I get paid upfront for every single thing that I do. And the last thing I wanna talk about, you've probably heard before, maybe you've thought about it. I don't know. I feel like this would just be kind of people that look at bloggers, they look at influencers and they're like, wow, what the heck do they do all day? Like they must have the dream life. They do nothing. They get to watch TV. They just get to like shoot a YouTube video, launch it and that's it. It's just, that's not the reality of it, guys. I am currently shooting a YouTube video today, actually a real day in my life and showing you guys what I work on all day long. Your girl's gonna make some brownies. And there's a lot that goes into it. I mean, me personally, I work on my stuff, so I work on building my brand. Yes, I am creating content, so I'm creating blog posts, I'm creating YouTube videos, I'm launching Instagram stories, even though that might not seem like a big deal, but I'm also sharing Instagram posts, of course, and there's a lot to maintain there, but I am also a website developer. I am the accountant, I am the marketer, I am just like everything in my business, I am a one woman team, so I do everything. And I have definitely had to learn some skills. I mean, I learned a little bit about coding so that I could code my own website. That's that's something that I never thought I would get into when it came to being a blogger and a content creator, you know, but there are so many things that go into being an influencer or a business owner or just a content creator in general. There are so many things that go into it, especially if you're trying to grow your brand. I mean, you guys know I have paid products and that just doesn't happen. I have to work a lot behind the scenes to make that happen. So it's not just the content that you guys see. There is a lot more that goes on behind the scenes being a blogger that you have to deal with. And it's worth it to me. Like I love it. I have learned so much from being a blogger and I have got definitely more skills now. Like coming out of three years of my blog, I feel like I have learned more in doing this than I did in some of my business classes in college. So I don't regret a thing, but if you are going into it thinking this is going to be the dream life. All I have to do is create like one YouTube video a week and that's it. That's just not the reality. There's so much more behind it. So that is it for today's YouTube video. I feel like that. I feel like I don't, I don't, I don't know how to feel, honestly. I dumped a lot of information on you guys and don't think that any of this is complaining because in no sense is this complaining. I just wanted to talk about the business side of blogging, some things that I feel like other bloggers don't talk about and what you would need to know if you are actually getting started with your blog. So I hope you guys found this helpful and enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel while you were down there. <sighs> my YouTube channel is growing and I'm really, really excited. And I'm, I'm honestly, if I'm gonna be transparent with you guys, I am honestly so so excited that I'm almost at the point where I can monetize my YouTube channel. And my goal is to have that done in May. So that goal is creeping up on us and I, I need your help to achieve it. So make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video because it really does help to support me. And I will see you guys back here in another one really soon. Bye guys. Why did I do the spirit fingers? I hate the spirit fingers.